Thanks, Rita. Well, I notice it's snowing where you are. For us this morning, it was cold and frosty. Minus seven in Glasgow, but a beautiful morning with lots of sunshine coming through. However, there has been some nuisance cloud around. It brought a few showers as well across the southeast, and it's drifting its way steadily north. This was Ironbridge in Shropshire just a moment ago. And this is a satellite picture showing you that cloud. Now, it is pushing its way steadily northwards. So already we've seen some sunshine coming through across southern and southeast England and the best of the sunshine for the remainder of the day through Scotland and Northern Ireland. The clouds should continue to push towards the Scottish borders, but the risk of showers really few and far between. So enjoy the sunshine. Breezy and it's on the cool side. That wind direction either from the east or the southeast, a cooled source and picking up through the Irish Sea as we go through the afternoon. So temperatures really struggling for this time of year, a maximum of six to nine Celsius as a high. Now, as we go through this evening, we'll continue to see that cloud drifting its way steadily north. But more importantly, the winds will strengthen particularly across the southwest, up through the Irish Sea and into Western Scotland. So that means that the lowest of the temperatures and perhaps the more significant frost across central and eastern areas tomorrow morning. So we will start off tomorrow on a crisp but sunny note once again. That cloud and that breeze will continue to develop and we'll see some outbreaks of rain arriving by the middle of the afternoon into Northern Ireland and Western fringes. Best of the sunshine, uh, central and eastern areas. Quite a windy day tomorrow. That's just going to make it feel or even colder still, I'm afraid. Gusts of winds perhaps 45 to 50 miles an hour on exposed coasts in the rain. So top temperatures between 8 and 11 degrees. Now, as we move out of Tuesday, that weather front continues to push its way steadily northwards. But unfortunately, it's just going to allow the door to open and more weather fronts to bring wet and windy weather in from the west over the next few days. It will bring a change of wind direction from a southeasterly to a southwesterly, a milder source. So the temperatures will start to climb. But unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of rain, some of it really quite heavy as well, and gale force gusts of winds accompanying that rain. Best of the sunshine perhaps on Wednesday or best of the drier weather really down through East Yorkshire, East Anglia and the southeast corner with highs of 13 degrees. But the wet weather, well, that has to sweep its way steadily eastwards. Potentially on Thursday, we might see a little more in the way of sunshine. But there's more wet and windy weather to come, I'm afraid, from Friday onwards. There you go, Rita.